Hi and welcome back to Rick's Garage. In this episode I will be doing my first product review. The product in question is this, which is a multi-purpose cleaner and degreaser. Now why a degreaser you may ask? Well answer is simple, the next job on the Alfa Romeo is to completely clean all the dirt, grime and oil from underneath the engine. Now the degreaser in question is by Built Hamber, that's spelt B I L T. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is the price because that's the first thing everybody wants to know. I actually paid £16.95 for this online, together with postage, it came to a grand total of £20. Now, why is that value for money? Well, easy peasy. First of all, this is a 5 litre container. Second of all, you can actually dilute this down 100 parts water to one part product. When you consider you can go down to your retail shops like Halfords or whatever, you will pay between seven and 10 pounds just for a little 750 ml trigger spray bottle of degreaser and it ain't gonna last you two minutes. Now this should last you a long time and go a long way, um, say it should do. Now, why did I buy this product in particular? Well, first of all, it is a environmentally friendly biodegradable degreaser. Um, and that is brilliant for me um, because I work in a garage, which is obviously a confined space. And I don't want to be breathing in any kind of, um, you know, any concentrated toxic kind of chemicals that all the other degreasers are. Um, it's fantastic for me to use and it's also going to be better for the car. Second of all, um, this actually got Auto Express product of the year back in 2018 and it's also been very highly rated by a lot of avid and professional car detailers. So obviously I thought if it's good enough for them, then it's good enough for me. So there you go, an environmentally friendly product good value for money so let's give it a go and I'll tell you what I think it's gonna be a very honest review just because I've bought it I'm not gonna use it tell you it's fantastic when it isn't if it's rubbish I'm gonna tell you it's rubbish so anyway stay tuned and let's get on with it okay so the things I'm gonna be using to degrease underneath the engine obviously is the product and I'm going to be using that in a spray bottle with water Next I've got a little pressure sprayer with water in it, just for rinsing down. I paid about two quid for this. I've got a few of them actually. Um, I think I got them from B&M or Wilco's. But anyway, they work absolutely brilliantly. I've had them for a while. Um, next is a paintbrush, a cheap paintbrush, because obviously it's gonna get covered in rubbish anywhere, and also the bristles are a bit tougher, which is what you need. A soft paintbrush in this instance will just be no good for you. I got a pack of five of these for a quid. Next here I've got a set of three brushes. I paid £1.99 for those for the pack of three. Um, smaller ones for getting in the little tight spots. And this one is basically, well, it looks like a little toilet brush for getting up inside. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, good stiff hand brush. And also some old rags, which my wife keeps me uh, in good supply of. Uh, one last thing, which you are going to laugh, is if you are working in a garage like me, and obviously you don't want to end up with loads of water and product all over your garage floor. Uh, now, what I use, and you're going to laugh, is one of these. Can you guess what it is? Well, let me give you a clue. Kids play in it. Uh, that's right, it's a paddling pool. Uh, fantastic for using indoors underneath your engine bay. Uh, and believe it or not, I got this for £2.25 from Eurocar Parts of all places, I know. But yeah, it's a brilliant idea, it works, and if it works, it ain't a bad idea, is it? So, let's crack on. Okay, so I'm starting off with a light job for the product. Uh, this is the near side under arch. 
just a really dirty and a bit grubby really but no oil so i've got a weak mixture which i'm spraying absolutely everywhere not shy to use it because obviously i've got lots and then i leave that uh, for a good few minutes before agitating it all with a brush Making sure of getting all the little nooks and crannies, no worries left whatsoever. And then finally, I give it a good soak down. And you can just see all the, uh, the rubbish just sliding off it now, it's brilliant. And that's what it looks like after a good rinse. So now I go in with uh, a rag and give it a good wipe down. And a good way to test is to look at the rag and obviously you can see, or you can't see, any uh, muck on it whatsoever. Which tells me it doesn't just look clean, it is clean. So, so far so good. And this is what it looked like when it dried. So moving on to the uh, this side of the diff and the back of the gearbox uh, bell housing quite grubby under there uh, but more so on the back it's full of uh, thick oil this is because my uh, inner cv boot split all the way around last year and kindly spattered grease absolutely everywhere so again spraying really really sparingly absolutely everywhere um, i'm spraying around the diff seals um, obviously you don't want to be spraying water or degreaser inside your diff it ain't gonna be good And uh, after agitating that with a brush, uh, just give this a good rinse down again. Uh, I found this quite satisfying, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's done a really good job for how thick uh, the oil was and how ingrained it was um, into the um, the metal. It really is, or it really has done a good job. Quite pleased with that for a quick job. And over to the uh, driver's side, uh, you can see the sump here, thick with oil and grease. And obviously that is the drive shaft seal which has leaked everywhere. So again, spray down with loads of product. And you will notice though that although the alternator is covered in uh, grime, I'm not spraying that. Just working around the uh, diff seal again. So yeah, I'm not uh, spraying the alternator, obviously because you shouldn't. Um, but what I do do with the alternator instead is I ju just dip the um, the scrubbing brush in the um, the pool with all the spent fluid and diluted uh, water, um, diluted water, <laughs> diluted product with the water, and I just use that brush to scrub the casing of the alternator, and then I don't actually rinse it down. I just wipe it down with a rag. So just giving around that difficult scrub on this side before rinsing it all off. And there you go. I mean, considering all this was just a quick job, it's... Uh, quite impressed with it really happy days um, the pool did its job as well catching all the uh, spent fluid and here's a few before and after photos for you obviously there is a big difference happy days and there you have it Okay, so there you go, that's my little job done. Um, now, bear in mind, that was just a very quick use of the product just for the camera. Um, I'll be going over that again with a lot more detail in my own time. Now, what do I think of this product? Well, 
I'll be honest, a couple of weeks ago I actually used this uh, for the first time um, just to clean the undercarriage of the car with my best mate. I used a very weak mixture because it was just dirt really, it wasn't really oil and it worked absolutely fantastic. Um, when I'd finished I actually did a, a little test spot of a, an oily part of the engine and it didn't work brilliantly well to be honest so I, I was a little bit worried and I thought oh god. but. After using it today, I've got to be honest, it's it's worked absolute wonders. It really, really has. For a non-solvent based product, when you think about that, it is phenomenal really. It really, really is. Um, for the lighter parts, I used a weak mixture again, just under the, uh, the arches. And for underneath the engine, I actually used it neat. Um, but it actually worked, as I say, it worked fantastic. Would I recommend this product? Absolutely. It's fantastic value for money. It's good for the planet and it does the job it's intended for. So for 20 quid, it's gonna last you a long time. In my opinion, if you need a degreaser, don't waste any time or any money and just go out and buy this. You won't be disappointed. So there you go. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this product review, then please like and subscribe. Uh, there'll be lots more reviews like it and last of all thank you very much for watching see you again bye bye